Hi everyone, my name's Kevin, and today I wanted to give you guys an update and show you guys the Guppy and Neo Cardina that I purchased from LRBAquatics.com. There will be a link in the description below to the unboxing that I did. I hope you enjoy. This is my 55 gallon community tank. It has some nearite snails, muck guppies from my local fish store, a tetra, I'm not sure if it's cardinal or whether it's a neon but i do have one fortunately the rest died and i have some auto synclus and panacories in here really love this tank it's lightly stocked need more i had it really planted before and couldn't see the fish and i was setting up my neocardina tank so i took some of the i think it's leopard vow out of this tank and added it to the other tanks because i wanted some more cover for my shrimp feel more comfortable and uh, this tank was just way overgrown and I couldn't see anything. It's actually run off of a T5 light, which I am very happy about. Of course, there's a ton of algae, which is perfect because my three bristlenose plecos, I have two and one albino and uh don't know which ones but one day i came home and uh, saw some baby pleco fry they are very small i wanted to take them out of this tank and add them or to my 10 gallon shrimp tanks but just to let them grow out but unfortunately i can't catch them and i don't want to stress them out so they'll have to stay in here but overall i love this tank it's a 55 gallon might add more fish. Let me know what you guys think I should add in the comment section below. This is my 20 gallon by Wallstead Method tank. I have some sand on the bottom, dirt capped with white gravel that I got from Petco. And I really like this tank. It's a 20 high. I got the sponge filters off of AliExpress. I have media in the tanks and pearlweed, I believe. Some java moss or maybe guppy grass. I'm not quite sure, but I have a bunch of sponge filters. I have some Valisneria, I believe it's Leopard Val, in this tank. I think there's some Leopard Val in all of them, actually. I think I have some Red Root Floaters in here, but this is my Fire and Ice Wallstad Guppy tank. They are just amazing. I really like the Fire and Ice. These are gorgeous and absolutely amazing. I love these guppies. Hoping they'll breed soon. I'm very happy with this tank. It looks amazing. It is a Wallstead method, and of course, I only have two guppies in here, so bio load shouldn't be too bad, and uh, I really like it. Not too much algae, which I'm actually a little bit surprised about, but very happy about. I thought I had more before, but very happy I don't have too, too much. I'm really enjoying this tank, and I love the fire and ice, so you better go get some. They are absolutely amazing. LRBAquatic.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. This is my pair of rare blue arctic or volcano guppies from LRB Aquatics. I just got the sponge filters off of AliExpress actually. I think I have some java moss, guppy grass, and pearlweed in here. I have a mix of them so I don't really care what is in them as long as I have some of each. I have a snail and I have a bag of lava rock as biological media. I have a heater in there. I don't know if it's totally necessary, but I do have a heater. And I have some plants. I am using a Aquani light on this tank, and it seems like it's doing pretty darn well. I'm very happy with the way it turned out, or the way it's turning out. I hope to get some fry from this pair. Uh, looks like the female is pregnant, although it could take quite a while for her to actually have a birth. So I am looking forward to that. And I will keep you guys updated on... 
This is my orange Neocaridina tank. I got 20 Neocaridina from LRB Aquatic. I decided to go with a Wallstead method substrate. So I have sand, potting soil, and then a, another layer of sand. It, some of the potting soil came up a little bit because I had to move the substrate over when I added the matten filter because I originally got one sponge filter and a hang on back for my tank, but unfortunately the hang on back was not producing much flow. So I decided to go with a matten filter and a cram co-op sponge filter. I got four matten filters from Flip Aquatics and I got the Nano horse sponge filter from Aquarium Co-op and it's being run by the Nano USB air pump. They're pretty silent, which is great. I love those things. I have a lid that I got from somebody else and then I have an Aquanite light for 10 gallon tanks. I have a free C heater which I enjoy. It works pretty well. I have them for all of my tanks, actually. I think there are a few buried females. At least they're very fat. And, uh... This is my Fire Red Neo Caridina tank. I have a sponge filter and a matten filter on this one, too. I painted it black, which next time I'll probably use some window tint. All three of the sponge filters on my 10 gallon tank rack is being run off of this night crew air pump and i really like it because it has three outputs for air and when the power goes off it will go to the lowest output and it will keep running so i have enough time to see if i can save my livestock depending on how long it takes so i really do like it it gives me a little bit of extra comfort might be a little bit overkill but i don't really care I'm happy that I got it, and then I'm actually running three off of it. I am using the six-way gang valve to get all of it up to the other tanks as well. Again, this fire red tank is planted. It has Eco Complete, and I have Aqua Neats on all of mine. I may upgrade to the Phoenix, but right now I have the Aqua Neat LED lights and a bag of crushed coral in here. I have a matten filter and a sponge filter, so it looks like it's doing well. Check out Flip Aquatics and Aquarium Co-op. I'll leave links in the description below to where I got these products. I purchased 20 Blue Dream 18 Neo Caridina from Lucas Bretz as well as the Fire Reds and these actually didn't do quite as well. They were all in shipping for like four days and I think the stress might have killed a lot of them. I purchased some Carib Sea Supernaturals White Sand from Petco and I put two five pound bags into this tank and I have some plants in Aquanite light as well on this one. I may get some more because I do want to start off with a decent population and fortunately some of them died. I think partially because of USPS taking four days to get here. Uh, it was right after Christmas. It was on like the 5th or 10th. I used white Rust-Oleum paint and I have a free C heater on this tank too. This is my yellow Neo Caridina tank. I also got 20 of these. I think I have like 15 or 12 left. I made some shrimp caves and a feeding dish out of polymer clay. Have a matten filter from Flip Aquatics on this one as well. And a sponge filter also running off of the Night Crew air pump. And the matten filter I got from Flip Aquatics and it's running off of the Aquarium Co-op Nano USB air pump. There goes a shrimp right now. I don't know if you can see it, but there it goes. It's, they look like they're doing all right. 
I have Eco Complete 20 pounds worth on the bottom of this tank, and the shrimp look like they're zipping around. I'm very pleased. This, I think, is one of my favorite tanks, this one and the orange one. Fortunately, the blue is not quite as good because all of the shrimp are hiding and I don't get to see them much but this tank is doing quite well and they're out and about and I really like this tank very happy with the way it's turned out um please share like comment and subscribe for more content like this and be sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload new content